guys welcome to another video so today's video I will be using the covergirl outlast concealers and I wanted to give these a try so if you want to see how I got this look and what I think about these concealers and all that good stuff make sure you keep on watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe hi guys welcome to another video so today's video i wanted to try these concealers that i picked up from walmart the other day they were seven dollars and 98 cent and it's the covergirl outlast extreme wear concealers i picked up the shade um 870 toasted almond and warm tawny 872 and they look like this and the reason i picked these up is because you all know that i love my covergirl um powder outlast powder and this is what toasted almond yeah 870 toasted almond so i use this all the time so i walk by and i saw the concealers and i say why not give it a try it says new i don't know if they repackage it or if it's just new but we're going to try it today so i hope i got a highlight shade and a foundation shade because y'all know that's what i normally do so this um concealer while well, i'm priming this i'm gonna use my i wanted to use you know like the brand so this is the only primer I have from them. It's the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition Primer. So that's what I'm going to use to prime my face. Today, let's see. This concealer comes in 24 shades. Oh, this is creamy. I forgot how this was. High, high skin blemishes, dark soap circles, and other imperfections. Um, it's lightweight, full coverage. It claims to not be cakey or smudge or smudgy. Is that a word? Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Or smudging. Oh. 24 hour formula instantly conceals imperfections without caking or smudging. Pro tip wear with your matching shade of CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Pressed Powder to set to get a flawless look so good thing i do have the powder so that's what they say use so we're gonna see today and i also wanted to try this new technique or well not new with well this new technique to me so we're gonna see where this goes oh i'm not gonna put on my paint pot because i'm really not going anywhere maybe not want to so bad but i'm not i'm not gonna put it on okay so Let's see. The first shade is Toasted Almond 870. Let's see because you all know that that's the shade I have in the powder. So let's see how the concealer looks. So Toasted Almond. I don't know why I thought that I could highlight with that. I guess by me looking at it in Walmart, I was like, it looks kind of light. It also claims to be transfer proof and waterproof. So this is Warm Tawny. And I think that's the one I'm going to use as a foundation. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Look the same on this monitor, right? Well, no, you can see Warm Tawny is more warmer. <laughs> so, we're going to use that as the foundation. Look, y'all, I don't even know where to begin with this. That's what I get for trying to decide I'm going to do something new. Okay. Let's get the warm. Let's do the Toasted Almond on my highlighted areas. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. That way I can put it where I need it to be. Another one to oh, can't put enough on my hand. Use another one to um, if I wanted it brighter because this isn't like really really bright now. But we're gonna see. I don't want it to dry, so let's go ahead and blend this out a little bit. My sponge is a dirty 
and down. I'm gonna wash them today though. Ooh, it's got coverage. Okay. Y'all see the coverage? We come up so. I swear I love when I find a concealer, a new concealer. I am going to take my e.l.f. putty blush in, I don't know because I threw it in a box and it's not on the thing, but it looks like this. I don't know. Cause I saw people use like blush before they do their foundation and all of that. So I'm gonna put it on. I'm not going to play, so if I mess it up, it's fine. I can keep trying. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Next, my contour. I'm not even going to tell y'all what it is because y'all already know. Then the other concealer on the rest of my face. I want to see if it's really full coverage because I had that dark mark on my chin on that breakout I had. So I really need to see. Let's blend this out. Should I blend? Do I oh, do I blend out the contour first? Now the other concealer because I want it to dry. Oh, you can still see the blush. Okay. My contour used to be done disappeared. Think I found something, y'all. I love the way this looks already. I haven't even said it yet. Ugh. I'm going to use my Too Faced uh, Peach Translucent Caramel Peach to set. Only because it's like golden, but it's not like bright, bright. Y'all still, still see my blush? Not really, no. I don't see it. It's fine by me. Okay, now we're taking the powder. The Outlast powder. I 
and swipe and slightly sweep this away in the process. Okay, I've used this um, ColourPop cheek palette on my eyes today, but I'm going to use, let's use the top one to go over the blush to see if we can get some more blush. And I'll use the dark shade to set the contour just a little bit. Because you see how dark that um, dark shade is? You got to be careful. 